time, at least you move to the countryside. Oh, but what do I do? I have a job. What do you do with a job if you're wheezing morning, evening? Little less money in the village, breathing well is better in my opinion. It's hard to breathe. You will see if you live in a place where there's fresh air, twenty-five to thirty percent of your asthma will go down. Once we remove the outside problem, handling the inside problem becomes a possibility. Human ailments are of two different kinds. There are infectious diseases and chronic ailments. Infectious diseases happen to the body because an external organism invades the system and causes certain trouble, which has to be dealt with medication. But chronic ailment, what it means is, our own body is creating the problem. The disease is being manufactured in the system. Because the problem is being generated from within, it is very important that an inner solution is found for this. The inner engineering process is just about this, that you find access to this deepest dimension of intelligence and competence within ourselves, which is capable of generating this body. Thinking and understanding that for all the problems that I have, there is an external cause and there is an external solution is a very foolish way to approach the whole process. For ailments, chronic ailments like diabetes, hypertension, cardiac ailments, asthma, allergies, obesity, eating disorders, and many of these kinds which are all essentially generated from within. All these things can be quelled from within if only we are willing to pay a certain level of attention to the innermost dimension of who we are. If you take off dairy, you will see for many people we have seen hundred percent of their asthma is only in their dairy product consumption. They take away dairy, Asthma is gone. For a large number of people, at least fifty percent of their problem is in the dairy produce. If you take away that, fifty percent will come down. Remaining fifty percent could be easily handled. Milk and milk products and mucus-related problems cannot go together. It, it highly aggravates these things. Such people should avoid bananas, jackfruits, cooked beetroot. You can eat raw beetroot, but cooked beetroot are highly mucus forming. One more substance which could be very good for you in daily consumption is honey. Honey is the only substance found on the planet whose chemical composition is very close to that of human blood. If you change a few things, it's almost like blood. Daily consumption of honey can do a lot for your health, especially people who have excess mucus problems.